Hey everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, we are going to take a look at this virtual resource exploration module um, for PPFT. And I'm just going to walk you through what we need you to do for this section of your asynchronous training today. So, um, when thinking about the PPFT appraisal, it's um, sometimes it's a little hard to, to think about how that's going to look um, in terms of virtual instruction. So, um, to assist you in your planning for appraisal and also just to help you in your pedagogy, the district's put together a guide of virtual resources, and those are arranged into um, the seven instructional domains that are in PPFT, right? So today our task is going to be to explore um, these resources in all seven domains, and that'll be pages nine through 15. And um, once you get in there, you can check the hyperlinks, which will um, kind of help you see uh, the actual specific resource that's there, all right? And what that does is it shows you essentially um, the type of things that you would need um, to get a three and the type of things that you would need to do to get a four, right? So um, for example, and let's just kind of take a look at this document real quick together. What you would do, what you're gonna need to do is you'll go into this portion right here, which says uh, PPFT virtual instructional resource, okay? So I'll click that. Once you get in, you're probably gonna get a little, let's see here, a little sad frowny face is what usually pops up for me right there. Oh, sad frowny face. So go ahead and just click here. All right. And you're gonna have this document. Um, this wonderful document is, you know, I said pages nine through 15. It's actually not pages nine through 15. So I'm gonna, take that out of what I said, it's just this document. This is just the document, right? Um, but so let's say for instance, um, instructional practice, student engagement, I wanna know how to do, um, let's just say a think pair share, right? So what do I do for that uh, virtually? So there's a hyperlink here that'll link you to um, some resources on how you can do a think pair share and how you can do it virtually, right? Um, so pretty good resources actually that are that are in here. Um, jigsaw, you know this activity would be a four. So here you go. Here here's a resource for Jigsaw. Okay. So what I want you to do is to um, actually go through and explore these resources, and as you explore each domain in PPFT, um, remember we have the seven domains, right? So we have engagement assessment and feedback, differentiation, critical thinking, problem solving. Then you have your routines, your expectations, and your and uh, uh, culture and climate in your classroom, right? So we're gonna go through that document and explore all seven of those. Um, and once you do it, so let's say we get through the engagement portion, we found some stuff that we like, you're gonna go into the engagement discussion right here, right? And you're going to answer the question, what strategies from this document, that was the document, can you utilize to help improve both the virtual and in-person engagement in your classroom? And you go ahead and hit reply and um, put in a strategy that you can use um, to help uh, improve the engagement in your classroom. And then once you've done that, go ahead and go back and you can explore the next section and then answer um, answer the, uh, the the discussion for the next section. The next section is assessment and feedback. That is actually a link to a Padlet. You can go in and you can post on there um, what strategies from the, the assessment and feedback portion that you can utilize to uh, improve your instructional practice. All right, um, that is all for this section. Um, pretty simple, so just go ahead and check out the resource and then um, answer the questions or the discussion on each section and that's all you have to do.